hollow places with all kinds of faces together into a sailing ship there were 40 boys and girls they would sail their ship around the globe so they called it the united world the ship was just three weeks from shore when a hurricane bore it down Waves were big as mountains, they felt they would surely drown. They jumped into the lifeboats, rowed away from the wreck. They didn't count them, they hadn't time, five children were left behind. The children fought the storm all night, then finally fell asleep. They didn't realize the ship had been blown across a reef into the lost islands. But hiding in the bushes was a watchful pair of eyes. And living in the valley were people lost in time, ruled over by a tyrant whose face was in a mask. The children must defeat him so they can escape at last from the lost islands. himself. Dan shaped special to play havoc with me old hunting injury. Uh. What was that? Come on. Catch! largest life. Those scurvy rats whisker children. Aye. Let's take them then. Be not so hasty, Mr. Quell. There'll be five of them and only two of us. Aye, but we're armed. We've been so before and still those slippery whelps have escaped us. Well, what then? It'd be in my mind that one bird in the island may well be worth five in the woods. back to the hideout. Mark! Mark! One of your friends. Quiet out there. I heard you the first time. No. Best ye have good reason for this untimely uproar. Aye, that we have. Look ye! I've had dealings with this boy before, my Lord Q. He's weak. At our last meeting, he begged for mercy and offered to lead us to his friends in exchange for his own life. I have no doubt he will do as much again. Bring him. Mark! Doesn't look as though he's here. Let's look inside the ship. You two girls check the treehouse. Make sure he's not hiding up there. Why would he hide? Maybe he's trying to scare us. You never know with Mark.
Thee will know that when the great storm swept thy vessel into these waters, I ordered my guards to search it and confiscate the cargo. They found many books and journals. From them I have learned much of the world outside. There be matters I find of particular interest, matters of science. It be these I wish to discuss. Well, I'd like to help, but you really should talk to David. He's the scientific one. I would talk with him. I would talk with all of you. There be something I have a mind to do, a thing I have read of in one of your books. It is a matter in which thee and thy friends could be of much help. Therefore, I will make thee a proposal. It's over an hour. Wherever he went, he should have been back by now. I think you are right. I think something has happened to him. I guess the best thing to do is for one of us to stay here and the rest start searching the island. Yeah. Anna, do you want to stay in... That must be him. Helen! Well, thanks be you, all right. Why shouldn't we be? You do not know. The guards. They have Mark. Be careful. Don't worry, we will. Mark! We were just on our way to the village. How'd you get away? I've been in a Q's cave. We talked for a bit and then he let me go. He what? He let me go. He asked me to bring you a message. Yeah, and how many of his guards followed you back here? None, really. I kept a lookout, and besides, he gave me his word. Look, I'm not absolutely stupid, you know. I wasn't followed. Then why did he let you go? I told you. He wants me to bring you a message. He's made us a proposition. What proposition? Well, he's got this project, and he needs us to help him with it. If we agree, he's offered to make us his special advisors. What sort of project? I don't know. Something you read about in one of our books. Something scientific. Yeah, like the care and feeding of managing crabs. Now look, seriously, he needs our help. And if we agree, we'd be important people. Special advisors. He'd come and go as we please. We wouldn't have to live in this smelly old swamp anymore. We'd have people to wait on us and everything. Oh, come off it, Mark. You can't really believe it. It's a trap. You don't know that. You didn't meet him. You didn't speak to the queue. Well, I did, and I think he means it. David's right, Mark. I agree. I think the Q wishes to trap us. So do I. Well, I don't. I'd rather take my chances and go on living like this, running and hiding all the time. You can do what you like, but I'm going back. Mark! Mark! Wait a minute. Maybe you're right. Just, just give us a chance to talk it over. All right. But I'm not changing my mind. Let's go back to the ship. Well, anyone got any ideas? I vote we tie him to a tree until he comes to his senses. We cannot. Yeah, I know. But you know what's going to happen if we let him go? Sooner or later, he'll tell the Q how to find us, and all about the Quins from Jeremiah, too. Probably without even realizing what he's doing. There must be some way to make him realize he's walking into a trap. Knowing Mark, there's only one way I can think of. Well, what's that? You and I walk into the trap with him and spring it. Then get out as best we can. It is too dangerous. I don't see that we've got any choice. We'll need the walkie-talkies. Oh, how am I going to put this on? Thanks. Turn it on at, let's say, 11 o'clock. If we can, we'll call in and let you know what's happening. If you don't hear from us then, try again at six. But don't leave it on any longer than what you have to. I'm not sure how much life's left in the battery. Yes, all right. Come on. Good luck. Yeah. 